Hello, street party! It is so great to have you guys here and so awesome to see your smiling faces. I miss you guys. We are super excited to be here to talk all about our life app of faith. And I know the perfect person to help us do it. Hey, Douglas! Hey, Miss Pam! Hey! High five! Good to see you! Good to see you too! So great to be here. All right, guys, so all month long, we've been learning about faith. We know that faith is... Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. It's sort of like the wind. We can't really see the wind, but we can see what it does. It rustles the tree's leaves, and sometimes we can even hear it. We can't see the wind, but we believe it's there because we can see what it does. Faith is just like that. We can't see God, but we can see his creation and we can see the way he works in people's lives. So we know he's there. Hey Douglas, let's start today with some really fun game. What do you think, what do you say? That sounds awesome. All right, uh, first we are going to play a game called Focus Freeze Dance. Does that sound awesome? I think it sounds great, but first you need to know what your team color is because that's really important. So, if you are in kindergarten, you are on the red team. And if you're in first grade, you are on the yellow team. And if you're in second grade, you're on the green team. And if you're in third grade, you're on the purple team. So now do we know their colors? You are kindergarten, First grade, second grade, and third grade. All right, Douglas, tell them how to play. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play some awesome music, and then you guys are gonna go crazy dancing. But when we hold up your grade sign, that is your cue to freeze. And so you gotta focus to know when you gotta freeze. Pretty Sounds good. Sounds awesome. Sounds great, guys. Okay, are you guys ready to play? Okay, all right. Let's have some music and here we go! And everybody dance!
morning, everybody. Man, it is great to see you guys today, and it's great to be here in Party Town Theater. And today, we're going to be talking about a man in the Bible. Well, he went by two names. First, he was Saul, and then he changed his name to Paul later. Well, you know what? In, in Saul's young life, he really wanted to know more about God and live for God. So he went to the high priest, and he lived there in the church, and they trained him on how to know God. Now, at this time, the church leaders, including Saul, were getting angry about this new group of people that claimed that Jesus was the Son of God. I mean, how could anyone believe that he was really the Son of God? Well, unless he actually was. Now, this, this movement was called the church, and, and they were growing, and, and the church and people like Saul, they were acting like a construction worker and telling the people who were spreading the news about Jesus to stop, stop, stop. And you know what? The church movement kept growing. And, and this angered Saul and, the, and the, the religious leaders at the time even more. I mean, it angered them so much that they took one of the church leaders. And you, remember, you might remember the name of this guy. His name was Stephen, who we learned about. And his sad story where... These religious leaders took Stephen and they threw stones at him and they killed him that way. Now Saul at the time was helping them. He was actually holding their coats while they were throwing the stones at Stephen. Now still, even after that event, the church was still growing. And Saul was so upset that he was just looking for anything wrong what these people were doing. And Saul was acting like a referee and just pointing out what he thought was wrong. Hey, you over there, stop. Hey, quit telling them about Jesus. Whoa, hey, I told you guys to stop. Now Saul had found out that there was a bunch of Christians in a town called Damascus. So Saul went to the church in Jerusalem to the high priest Caiaphas and got a letter that he could bring to the religious leaders of the town Damascus in order to go and arrest these new young Christians. So Saul took a couple guys with him and they went on this journey to Damascus. Now, it took a couple days to get there and they were, as they were walking there, just before they got to the city of Damascus, a bright light shone all around them. I mean, whoa! And Saul got down on his knees, and he heard a voice. And the voice said this to him, as we can read in the book of Acts. Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, he replied. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what to do. I mean, whoa, talk about mind-blowing. Saul was going up to the city to arrest people that believed Jesus rose from the dead and actually said that they had seen him. And now Paul actually saw this light and he heard Jesus talking to him. I mean, what's, what, what was he thinking at that point? Now, the men that were with him were, were pretty freaked out too. And they didn't know what to do. But you know, when, when Saul stood up, he realized he was blind. He couldn't see. So the man that he, were with, he was with led him to the city of Damascus, and there he stayed with a man named Judas on Straight Street. Now, Saul didn't drink or eat for three days. And when Saul thought about it, he thought about Jesus and what he was actually doing. And he heard from Jesus, so he knew at that point that Jesus was still alive. So, Saul decided to follow Jesus himself. So Saul joined the other team. Saul became someone who would tell others about Jesus himself. And Saul just totally turned on what he was doing to these Christians, and he became one of them. And you know what? We can learn from Saul, because our bottom line says... When we know Jesus, we will see things differently. We get our bottom line. 
Knowing Jesus changes the way you see everything. And that's it. You guys pray with me? Dear Lord, thank you for Saul's story. Thank you, Lord, that you are, you have been raised from the dead, and that you are still alive, Lord, and that we can trust you no matter what. And we can pick up our Bibles and read about you, and we can pray to you all the time, Lord, because you're listening. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Mr. Pete. That was such an awesome story, wasn't it? It was awesome. God opened Saul's eyes in a really big way, and he knew that Jesus is the Son of God. Yeah, God has revealed himself in so many ways to so many different people. Last week, we learned about a few of these people that God has revealed himself to, like Abraham, Moses, and King David. But it was especially true when God revealed himself through Jesus. Jesus showed us and showed so many other people how much God loves us by dying on the cross for our sins and how powerful God is when he came back to life. God used a blinding light to get Saul's attention, but he uses a lot of different things to get our attention every day. And when you trust in Jesus, you can be sure that Jesus is working in your life when things are really awesome and when things are not so great too. Yeah. Hey Douglas, what's our bottom line for today? Our bottom line is knowing Jesus changes the way you see everything. And it all starts by taking time to focus on Jesus. I bet you can think of a few times that God has shown who he is to you. You'll have a chance to talk about that in small groups. But wait, before you go, I have a few announcements. VBS is coming July 13th through the 17th. Have you signed up? We had a contest last week, and if you didn't catch the winner of that contest for people who signed up, check it out online. And if you haven't signed up, do it right away. We have next Thursday, June 18th, is our Parent Connect for elementary at 7.30. Parents, hop online and register for that. And while you're there, be sure to register for Party Town Family Game Night. It's June 27th at 5.30 p.m. There are so many fun things going on. All right, guys. Have a great time in small group. See we'll you see next, you next week. week.